if it's broad enough. You wake to chaos, like a fusion of light and heat and smoke. Fire! Your head is pounding. You must have hit it and blacked out. You aren't sure how you got here, or what on... Oh, no, it's happening. There's something important you need to remember. This is really quiet. Good lord. Oh! Your stomach lurches as the floor crumbles beneath your feet, then collapses. Oh, my god. Ah! Oh, is that me? Oh, oh, that's my friend. Never mind. Your friend? Oh, oh, wait, wait. Your eyes burn from smoke. Uh, it's your friend. Your friend? Wait, why can't you remember her name? She's just sure shouting at you, but all you hear is the rain ears. Uh, uh, what's going on? Try to speak, but words come out jumbled. Yeah, she is. Or... They are pretty. Friend is pretty. The words come out jumbled. Your throat seizes around a lung full of choking smoke and you feel dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there it is. That triggered something. <laughs> In a different way. It probably needed to be done. Okay. Red pulls you out of the rubble. Whoa, whoa. She throws your arm over her shoulder and half drags you towards the door. Through it, you see a deep, eerie twilight. Elicit choking action. Yep. That's because it is. <laughs> Dark blue and cold against the heat of the fire around you. Glow season. Glow season? Okay. Oh, oh, glowing eyes. Shake your head to clear your vision. Is that some kind of dog from Earth? Uh. The creature howls and lunges, its jaws open. <laughs> oh, there's the music. There's the sound. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quite a beginning there. You were born on a stratospheric Earth's first colony ship. Halfway through it. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to make it quieter, but I can't. Damn it. <sighs> the opening is intentionally confusing until the end of the game. Okay. Uh, parents run the. Uh, either comments, they bravely choose to make this one way journey on the charred planet. Sorry, it's so loud, guys. You could have adjust their volumes. They had you the old fashioned way, merging their genes like they merge their cultures and genes. They name you. Uh, I like Solana. Ah, look at me. You're a bright eyed child, active imagination. It's not loud to you? Okay. Sometimes too active, your mom says. Use Slaughter's Lecture's pronouns and late teens appearance. These can be changed at any time. Okay. Sorry. Injuries of the sliders. Uh, hope and I do love us a good character develop, uh, develop screen. Remember your roots. Yep. You wonder if this is what Verterra will be like. Okay. Okay. Um. No middle sliders. <laughs> All extremes, baby. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Alright. Hmm. I love the options. Well, I did say I was a teenager, so I'll do feminine appearance in late teens. Um... By age six, you see the first signs of yours. Oh, wow, okay. 
Eagle eyes, extra fingers, absorbent brain. I guess that just means you're super smart. Calm temperament. Nothing. You know what, we're just gonna go with that. I know it looks weird, but whatever. <laughs> However, you guys are gonna be stuck where you are, because I can't adjust that for some stupid reason. Anyway, uh, what am I doing? No, I want something. Uh, Eagle Eyes. Ooh. Nice. See so a superhuman long di and night vision. Not only can you see all the way the probably change place again as soon as you get out of the screen. <laughs> Damn it. I vote eagle eyes or calm temperament. Nice. Well, I, I got eagle eyes. Oh, I didn't even do anything there, but okay. Everyone in this game has unusual names. Why are there six names and only four kids? Oh, I see. I get to look at each one of them. Okay. So I pick one. I don't know. Uh... Tell you how to play Zero. I guess this has something to do with the cards, I guess. She never means to get you in trouble, but somehow you always seem to find it together. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, to pick your bestie, it sounds like. Okay. Kyle is a sweetheart, always ready to let a hand play a game. He and Tanner are just as inseparable, so it's almost like you have two best friends instead of just one. Okay? He a strong one. I'll teach you how to take care of all the classroom pla Oh, okay, and they have different- Okay, that makes sense. Because I'm both very proud of you. Alright. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. <laughs> oh, nice. Bowling Garment Mars. Ah! Oh, wait. Mars Ambition. <laughs> this is like D&D. Wow, okay. <laughs> With the whole, like, ranking and stuff. Actual leader, whenever- in fact, she kind of looks, she kind of reminds me of a certain character we have in our group. Octopus. Raven. Think about it. Mars is the one, uh, Raven's like a barbarian type uh, character we have. The features, even. Mars is the one who comes up with all the ideas. She can be a little bossy, but that's part of her charm. She always organizes fun stuff for the kids after class. We're both founding members of Secret Fun, fun Times Club. <laughs> Fun Times Club. Okay. Oh. Emo boy. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean that as an insult. I'm just saying. That's what I mean. Your character gives me virtue vibes. Uh, the character I picked. Oh, oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, definitely. Oh, good lord. Virtue is gonna have everybody be his friend. He is very much emo boy. Okay. Like a studious ten swi- uh, ten- Yeah! God, God. Twin sister, tangent. Oh, that makes sense, okay. S sits at the back of the classroom and doodles on his hollow palm. You bond while cracking jokes about the weird diagrams in your, in your textbooks. By nature, in his morbid curiosity, you make him somewhat of a loner, but at least he has a friend, uh, in you. Uh... Eh? Okay. And we also have twins. Ow. Okay, tangent. Tangent looks cool. I mean, I mean, they all look cool, but I don't know. I I like the vibe. Tangent says, "Tangent is who who I romance when I played." Oh, okay. I'm guessing you don't. This game, like I said, I'm assuming it has the option to be like a dating sim, but it's not the focus. It's just kind of there, like, oh, you bond with people. Are you gonna bond with them in that way or this way, kind of thing? All right. Okay, okay, see, that's what I was thinking. Okay, cool. Um, my, my, my little partner, my partner in crime, that's what I need. Always has her hand in the air. She and her twin brother uh, drifted apart and she started genome treatment to make her body conform to her gender. That's interesting. Today, Tang is the girl you always knew she was, but her relationship... But, oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, with this dice? It is worse than ever. Oh. Make the third. 
Cause you need a little conflict, so you gotta make it that. Okay. <laughs> this one has a virtue vibe too. <laughs> but that's by looks. We uh <laughs> We know virtue is, is secretly chaotic. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> anyway. Uh <clears throat> time uh, oh my god. Tammy is the kindest person you know. She idolizes antecedent and is always following around helping her with the babies or learning how to cook. She has the best snacks at class uh, recess and always shares. Excuse me. Especially if you and Cal. She and Cal are just as close as kind of like having to... Yeah. I, I definitely was thinking Tangent is one of them. Let me find Cal again. I don't remember which one that is. Well, let's see. Um, oh God. And I'm very, I'm very interested in the, in this one. I mean, they're all interesting, but something about tangent just speaks to me. Ah, okay. Having fun? Oh, hey, point and click, hey! I am! Oh, uh, this is completely new to me, but but I'm liking it so far. I love- it's for, you know, to celebrate Pride Month. It hasn't started yet, but it will. Uh, I'm just kick- I'm just picking my character here, or picking the bestie. Yeah, tangent! Okay. You're ten years old when the ship finally reaches Orville. Professor Hal says it's like a doorway to other star systems with the planet. You know, emergency drills for uh, drills for months to repair. Oh, the day finally comes, the stars will rumble. The things start to slap tables. Oh God! You already got the new escape pods. Just in case, just in case. Ah! Oh, all oh, right, the parents. Sorry. <laughs> emergency areas, cloud familiar. Uh, I thought I was gonna say familiars. Families. Good God, Sarah. Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be fine, Solana. Your dad sues. We'll be through the wormhole and down on the planet before you know it, just like we practiced. Mom gives him a sharp, worry look. Oh, okay. Well, I did start Prime Mode J when I started to play Coffee Talk Episode 2 on here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's so many games that I just kind of left off on. I, I really need to either finish those or something, I don't know. I do have it in my wish list, though. <clears throat> that might be a game I just have to play on my own. I mean, there's no rule saying you have to stream everything you play. It's just... It's just because we do it so often, it's just kind of in your head. Like, oh yeah, we, we gotta stream this. I don't know. <clears throat> Siren begins to sound... Uh, you try to breathe slowly like you were taught. Prime of Bundle, that humble bundle just announced. Ah, nice. Oh, right! Yeah, that's right, they had a bundle. I've been trying to get back on Steam lately. Hey, I could play it on my phone or something. Steam games, I mean. Start being a go- Hey, hey, what is okay. Look, I'm the ghostiest one, okay? It's literally my own server, and I don't do anything with it. I made all those categories. I do nothing with it. So, I feel bad for you feeling bad for not being active. So, tr tr trust me, you're fine. <clears throat> Everything's fine. Wait, hold on. Ah. Okay, anyway. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, God. Katie's gonna have to make this look good, because... Oh, God. Okay, you try to breathe slowly like you were taught, but you're very scary. Look out a porthole. Stars are gone. When you're frightened, you put on a tough face. Get in touch with your emotions. Find a distraction. Hmm, this is me we're talking about, so... That ghost was adorable on the screen. Oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> oh, uh, oh, I see it. Okay. <coughs> I see it. Very nice. Okay. <sighs> Only has one option. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I do voice acting, but my voice is still wrecked, so I'm just trying to get through this. <laughs> 
Um, find a distraction is probably what I do. Oh, right, I can't do that. Um, I guess I gotta do this one. You bowl like a baby. It feels good. Stress cry. You aren't the only one. How do you adjust your traits? Because she didn't really get that option. I, I, I don't know. I just know Oscar Boss has said something like, I guess you're kind of automatically set if you pick a certain character to lean and Oh, she got traits again of car from her friend choice. Okay. <clears throat> you aren't the only one. Nearby, your classmate Tammy has tears streaming down her cheeks. Mars is trying quietly to console her. She sizes her crying, makes Tammy wail even more like your dad puts his arms around you. Oh. You wait. The shaking builds. And everything starts to get very weird. Yeah, no kidding. The hallway stretches. Stretches. And you're stretching too. Your arms impossibly long. Your head feels like it's slowly filling up like a balloon. I feel so damn loopy right now. Oh my god. Uh, and good try. Dad. That's <laughs> At the same time. Noodly. Is this the wormhole? You hear the distant ominous squeal of sp spaghettification. <laughs> a metal giving way as the ship shudders and lurches in so much. The weirdest part is a sense of deja vu. You're sure this has happened to you before, and you know somehow that everything's gonna be okay. Sure. You hear an impossibly loud crunch and feel weightless. For a few seconds, for gravity slams you back against the wall at first, and you black out. Ugh. Okay, sorry. As you slow unconscious, you feel yourself twisted out of time. <laughs> Literally. It's today. Yesterday. It's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my. And more than just one tomorrow. Lots of that. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Not, my birthday's on the first day of Pride Month every year. I love it. Lucky. Different tomorrows. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. You find yourself in a place. This actually is the perfect night to do this because I'm so loopy from being sick for so damn long. I'm just like, ugh. Oh, God, please. Uh, Till Fields. Ignore my mom in the background. <laughs> Dramatic ridges. Dramatic ridges, okay. And a stranger, but also not a stranger. And Inga, she grabs your hand. Hurry up, she says. I'm not gonna let you miss this. That's what? You, see, you, feel the, you could feel the ship shaking and stopped and hear your parents' worried voices. Feeling safe, you slip further into the warm embrace of the stars. I thought I was just that person just now, but you drift. Sorry. Gradually, your consciousness reforms. You wake up in the med bay. Damn it. The med bay under you plays its soft tone, and an automated voice speaks. ERB, I hope dinner is here. All right. Yep. Get your din din. Uh, wait, so, uh, two weeks have elapsed. Your pre the patient's cra cranial injury is completed healing. They may now be safely discharged. Cranial? Oh my god. As the fog lifts from your head, you realize something so different about this room. So bright, like the light on me. <laughs> you try to focus on the window. Something is definitely different. Ugh. Uh, sunlight. Bam. There we go. The familiar blackness of space. Bright light from twin blue and yellow sun streams through with it. see fields. Grass. No dying on stream. I'm trying not to. You appear. <laughs> That's when I'm finally gonna hit the big, the big break is when I die on stream. Ironic. Uh, walls read by giant. Mushroom-like trees. There are construction materials everywhere. Be walking around outside on the ground. You better go out there and join them. Rush outside to start your new life. Cautiously step outside to your new life. Hmm. I don't know, man. If it's supposed to be like me, I feel like I'd actually be more cautious. Whereas I play characters that, yeah, I guess I would. Rush, you're right. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Oh, 
Tammy jumps as you step out of the ship's course. You're awake? Are y'all better? You better go see your dad. How's your head, by the way? And I mean literally because you had like a, uh, a cranial <laughs> operation. <laughs> now just, oh, I have a headache. It's like, yeah, how's that? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's not funny. You better go see, uh, she points southeast towards some G, uh, dome. Okay. Hee <laughs> Hello, Daddy. 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 Well, I didn't mean to enter you, but okay. So long, uh, your dad gives you a big warm hug. I'm so happy you're finally awake. Thank God. Your, 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 like, brain was, uh... <laughs> we, had, we had to wait it out a bit. <sighs> Dr. Instance. Okay. Thought it'd be best to keep you asleep while your noggin healed. And I thought you might sleep away the whole year, my snoozy little gooseberry. <laughs> he checks your head and looks relieved. He was clearly very worried about you, but covers it with jokes and smiles. Oh, you love your dad. He's so embarrassing. Uh, 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 I think I'd be embarrassed. Welcome. <clears throat> you ever see it a stratospheric from the outside? Except bit, the ship has been serene to you, burst. The alien, the alien jungle creeps throughout the wall. And you're geodesic. It's beautiful. How did you do this so fast? What's outside the walls? Uh, I'm a curious person. Oh, don't worry about that, my dear Abajin. I was mean, is I, am I saying that right? I don't know. Be more worried about what's in your walls. <laughs> yeah. Nothing that can hurt you. We just don't want you getting lost in the big, big... It's me. I'm in the walls. Oh my god, that emoji. <laughs> That's cute. We just don't want you getting... Oh god, I don't know why, but that bothered me. Are y'all gonna be like... Oh god, we gotta shelter you from everything. Oh, before I forget, he pulls the package out from his satchel hands. You blink and stare at it blankly. Don't you know what day it is? He asked. He called genetic plant, but British. Oh, okay. You honestly don't. You're reminded that you've been asleep in med bay. This is like the perfect day to do this. Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday, shouts. I need a warm hug. Ah, damn it. I'm not a huggy person. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. You feel a dizzying sense of deja vu. You stare hard at the wrap package. You know exactly... <laughs> Sorry. You know exactly what's in there. You remember it. No. You dreamed about this package <laughs> some years ago on this ship. Inside will be a small medallion in the shape of a sun that your dad made my hand. I don't know why, but that's just... I'm just picturing, like, that thing. Like, I remember everything. You know, all this stuff. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, that wasn't funny. Um... Open a package. Tell him you know what's in it. <laughs> Don't open the package. Um. <laughs> I guess I'll pick this one. I don't know. I guess because it sounds kind of sassy, kind of funny. Just grab it out your dad as he hands you back. Aw, oh, who ruined the surprise? Was it Seek? Man, it was Seek. They hate fun. He grins and adds, Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> I was like, nobody told you, but someone shouts your dad's like, listen, I'm so sorry, Solana. Oh, God, my voice is cracking so horribly. Like I said, I'm sick. <laughs> but I have to get back to work. There was an accident where we landed, and uh, he said, don't worry, we're going to fix your... Wait, wait why did you... Yeah. Don't worry, we're going to fix it, your mother and I. Oh, God, you're going to die, aren't you? Professor Howe is expecting you in classes. If, we're filling... if you're filling up to it, I know you were kind of, you know... Having your, uh, head <laughs> worked on for two weeks? <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> ah, okay. It might have been obvious, but if you had not opened the package, would have not gotten the card. Oh, okay. How old are you meant to be? Uh, it just said late teens. Oh, right. They started me at 10 years old. Sorry. I'm glad you remember that. I was going to pause it. We'll talk later tonight, says... Then... Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh... Okay. 
A voice like, or you came out, you could have relaxed in our quarters until you're feeling better. We'll talk later at night. He says, a good job you're getting rubbish. I want to play, Solana. I love you. Unlocked study, uh, study, <laughs> study humanities. And love you too, Dad. Give him a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll see that. That's fine. Interbelling is too for a month to gain skills. There are 13 months a year and 10 years of the end of the game. You only have time to focus on a few things. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> Hello. You see this dice? <laughs> so the grab aside some bush. Is he hiding from somebody? He'd be watching the gate in the wall to the south where grown ups are coming and going. Kids are low past the walls, he says quietly without looking at him. You say there's nothing to be afraid of. Then why do we need walls? Kids are the walls! <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. You stare at the gate, have a sudden rush of memory so strong that you think you might faint. Oh, oh, oh god. Uh, no? You imagine something crashing through the wall, something enormous and dark and wriggly. Oh god. Umbra. Oh! <laughs> that, yeah, I guess it kind of is like that, yeah. Um. For years in space, you've half, ha had half remembered nightmares of monsters of your ship being destroyed, a set of wreckage, needs to be your home drive. I said, yeah, I was told you that dreams weren't real. The dreams weren't real. Are you daydreaming? I think there are monsters out there. Hold on. Oh my god. The pain is like burning. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> I believe you. Stop making things up. My dad says there's nothing bad out there. Um, I believe you. No. Don't, he says. You're being sarcastic. I can tell. Nobody believes me. He turns his back and ignores you. They're huge and really dangerous. <laughs> Leave him alone. But... <laughs> Well, this bit, uh, is he blushing? Oh, now he is. 